Hi, this is Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru, and today I'm going to tell you about the three ways, and only three ways, to be found on the front page of a Google search result. But before I go into that, I want to show you this heat map. And what you're looking at here is a Google search result page, and it's an eye tracking study or a heat map. And your eye is here in the upper left hand corner. The purple X's are where you click. The red lines are where the screen cuts off based on the size of your monitor. Uh, and so this is what happens. And you can see that we click in the upper left hand corner. That's where our purple. X's are and it, it, it decreases as we go down and very little on the right. So let's go and take a look at a search. So I've put a search in here in, a, in Google for Florist Mackay. Now you can conduct this search. Uh, Flowers from Lisa is a client of ours and what you're seeing is her search results are on the front page of Google three times. She's Flower from uh, Lisa's right here. This is Google AdWords. She's Flower from Lisa here, which is search engine optimization. And she's Flower from Lisa here, which is a Google Plus local page. So she's showing up on the front page of Google three times. Now that's being dominant, right? There she is, Flowers from Lisa. Three times Google AdWords, which is pay-per-click advertising, search engine optimization, which is organic results, and a Google Plus local page. So, before I go into each one of those in detail, let me give you the information because the data's in. 50% of people that do a search don't know that those first three results are ads. 85% of people never scroll. They uh, don't go down the screen, as you can see from the cutoffs. 94% never go past the first page. More than half of the clicks occur on the top three results. Mobile phones make this even harder, and I'm going to show you that. So look at that heat map and uh, see where it's at. So now let me just take you into each one of these in detail. Google Enhanced is the AdWords campaign, and, and Google has done so much powerful things here. They've made it now easier for us to target mobile versus desktop devices, different geographic locations, uh, different times of day. It, it's all impossible. It's all possible with Google AdWords now. And in fact, um, in the example that I showed you, there was in fact a location extension on um, Lisa's listing. And when I show you the mobile phone listing, you'll see some click to call stuff. So Google AdWords is an auction. It gets you in the top three results. Um, you're competing against other people in the same space, so it's a combination of who pays the most and who has the best user experience or the quality score. This is Google AdWords. All right. The second listing was from uh, Google Search Engine Optimization. Now the only thing you need to know about this is Google uh, Search Engine Optimization Starter Guide. You'll find this 32 page document uh, and you can download it as a PDF. It really is only 14 items that are covered in these six categories, covering everything from how you create and set up the page titles all the way down to how you market your website using social media. It also includes whether you have a mobile-friendly site. All of it's covered in this uh, search engine optimization starter guide. Everything else that you hear about and all those emails that show up in your in-basket are nonsense. Get this document, build your website to this, then go about the social media and link building properly here, and you'll be right to be found organically. The last area is the Google Plus Local. Now this is going to be very, very important when you see my mobile information in just a moment. But here's Lisa. Uh, she really hasn't optimized this page very well. There aren't enough photos. There are a couple here, but not enough. Um, she's allowed to put in up to five videos as well, and she hasn't enticed people to write reviews. And reviews are what keep you in this space um, on uh, Google Plus Local. You need to create your own Google Plus account. Just Google Google Plus and follow the instructions to, keep, to create your account, and then you can claim the local listings if you have a local shop that you trade from. So let's go back to my uh, presentation for a second and take a look at a mobile search. Now these are screen captures I've done from my iPhone. Uh, and these are, uh, I put in Floris Mackay, and here's the first screen of data that comes up. And you can see there's three listings, and here's Flowers from Lisa. But she's got this Google AdWords call extension. These are ads. And if somebody clicks on that, it immediately will start, uh, can, brings up the dialer on her phone to make a phone call. Now, as I told you about Google Plus Local and how important it is, here you can see the map. And as we scroll down the screen and my screen capture from my iPhone, 
we see flowers from Lisa. Ooh, there's another flowers from Lisa. She's here twice. She's got two stores. So, and this information came up before the organic results, which is why Google Plus Local is so important. Ads are on the top. Most people on their phone will click the click the call button if it's there. If they do scroll down, again, there are call buttons on all of these. But this information all shows up before her search engine optimized listing comes up uh, on Google. So those are the three ways to be found on the front page of Google. Do it like Lisa. Uh, do all three. One plus one plus one doesn't equal three. It equals more like eight and a half or nine. People click for on uh, when you're on there more than once. This is a complex area. If you'd like more information, just um, scroll over to the right-hand side and fill out the form, and we'll call you, or look up on the top and ring our 1-800 number, 1-300 number, and we'll give you a call to help you out with any one of these three ways to be found on the front page of Google. Thanks for watching. Monty Hipsch, The Google Guru.